What's up, machine freaks? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a fly day, an amazing day. However, however you want to feel, I hope you're feeling it. If you're feeling like crap and you want to feel like crap, well, I, I, that's unfortunate. Because life is amazing. Life is amazing when you're positive. Anyways, I'm pumped. And that's not just a pun for the product I'm about to introduce to you. But I am pumped. I'm excited as well. Now, I don't usually start out with a product like this, and I found it to be very, very appropriate for 3D machines and the 3D machines productions. As you guys know, I've had some tire problems in the past. Ryobi did not sponsor this video. If they feel like sponsoring a video, I'd really appreciate it, Ryobi. I can make your sales go way up. Because you guys do do an amazing job. I've been a Ryobi fan for a very long time. But anyways, here's the new product. Power Inflator. Oh yes, I'm pumped. So it looks like on the back here you have a gauge. So this is a, for like a basketball or a football. Not really a sports guy. I played one sport in high school that was wrestling. That was for two years. Actually, that was in middle school. In high school, I didn't play a single sport. If we had a hockey team, I would have definitely played hockey. Now, this isn't very surprising, but a lot of people question the tire pressure on the Duramax because these tires aren't really made for something this heavy. The Duramax weighs 6,000 pounds. That's a lot of freaking weight. These tires max out at 3,100 pounds. So if you... Pull the trigger. Glad this isn't a gun. I would have shot my foot off. 3,100 pounds, multiply that by four, that's about, what, 12? That's about 12,400 pounds. Subtract the 6,000 that it weighs, so we have 6,000 pound capacity that we can put on top of it. Well, that's really not that much. Now, you guys know that these are brand new tires, so that's why they leak a little bit. And one of the valve stems has leaked, and but these max out at 50 PSI, which isn't a lot for a tire that's supposed to be on this truck. I'm not saying that these tires are unsafe, that's just not the best tire. I got these tires for free. Back off. Gage says we're at 40 PSI. Let's go up to 45 PSI. We'll see how this thing reacts to such a big tire. Like, th this is a huge tire. Okay, I wanna say that was a good two minutes. It went from 40 PSI to 45 PSI. Probably 44 and a half after that. But that's actually pretty fast considering how big this thing is compared to my 60 gallon air compressor. I want to hear your guys' best puns for an inflator. Like, I know there's a rouse and stuff like that, but I think saying that word... I, I think people can start thinking the wrong things if I use that word as a pun. Danny texted me. He says he might have a four-wheeler that he wants me to buy or, or a deal he found for me. So I just want to have my truck cleaned out. So if anything does go down, I'll be ready. My truck's got a bunch of cardboard in it, so I got to run to the recycling center real quick. See what I mean? Twenty minutes later. I'm done with a brand used tiger game. I'm gonna buy brand new ones, like fresh, zero miles. It'll be my first fresh set. I'm looking forward to it. They're gonna be winter tires. The only thing I don't like is when the bill comes in the mail, when I have to pay for that, because it's a few hundred dollars. But if it's gonna keep me safe, I'll pay it. I just left the cardboard recycling center, dropped the cardboard off, she's all set. I do support recycling. If you can recycle when you can, do it. It's good for the environment. Yes, global warming has some benefits, including, you know, the warm weather. But if we can reuse, then that's amazing. And that's basically what I do on my channel. I take a heap of crap and turn it into not so much of a heap of crap. I mean, just look at the BMW. Now don't judge me on what I've accomplished so far in this video. I have also accomplished a lot off camera. So I kind of feel a little slimy but I also got a text from this guy that says that he might be able to sell this four-wheeler to me, but he's also got another guy interested. So, while he's still making up his mind and the other buyer's making up his mind, I'm gonna go ahead, clean up a little bit, jump in the bathtub, and get cleaned up. But first, I gotta wind up my air compressor hose. Okay, I was just running my bath water when that guy texted me, so I gotta hurry up, take a shower, take a bath, get all loaded up, and head out. So I don't have a lot of time to waste, so I'm only gonna get one more shot. 
Okay, but seriously, it's time to have a speedy rub-a-dub-dub. In the tub, of course. So as you guys are probably aware, I am very pumped up. I am very anxious. I wanna get this four-wheeler. I think it's a great purchase. Now we got rid of the Grizzly. Time to replace it with a Kodiak, another Yamaha. We gotta keep it Yamaha. The, the Grizzly did not disappoint. Hopefully the Kodiak will not disappoint, as long as we get the Kodiak. Now what you guys didn't see is I actually called this guy up and I asked him about the machine and everything and he says, well, if you must know, then he's this, this, and this, just a couple minor things. And also there's a guy coming to look at it at five. So I'm like, oh, this is too good of a deal to pass up. We gotta buy this thing. So I'm like, okay, this and that, talking to him. And then he ends up telling me that he that the guy offered him 900. He has it listed for a thousand. So I used that to my advantage. I said, well, I'll give you full price if you go ahead and sell it to me. But the only thing is, is you have to let that guy know that I'm buying it. Otherwise, you know, I'm not gonna screw a guy out of buying that four-wheeler. I'm not gonna screw him out of time or fuel coming to look at a four-wheeler that's not going to be there. So I wanted to make sure everything was legit. I wanted to make sure everybody had a fair say in it. And I just wanted to make sure nobody was getting screwed. Because I know if I were in that situation, I would completely respect somebody telling me that, hey, don't show up, somebody else is going to buy it. Then showing up and not having a machine there, right? So this can play out two ways. The first way is I just buy the thing, everything goes smooth, that guy doesn't show up, everything just works out. The second way is if I get there and the other guy shows up, then what the hell is going to happen? Like, that's not fair, it's not fair. Because if I don't end up with the machine, then somebody owes me fuel money and some time, and if that guy shows up, well then somebody owes him fuel money and time, in my opinion. If things get haywire, I will try my best to pull the camera out. I will try my best, I promise you. Now, I'm not just anxious because this four-wheeler deal might go haywire, but I'm also anxious because of one other reason. See my fuel gauge? It's not empty, but it's getting close. I don't like that, and that's why I have my one rule. Always fill it up, every time, all the time. I just hope it lasts me, because there's not a fuel station between here and there. We're in Amish country right now. Like, no lie. If I see an Amish buggy, I will show you. That's for all you Ford fans out there. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I just wanted to pass that guy and, and say that. If I irritated one person, as long as I didn't offend them, you know, it's just a joke. That's just a fact, man. You're either like Duramaxes, Power Strokes, or Cummins. Take your poison. That couldn't have gone any better. She's in park, she's locked and loaded, I believe. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That whole transaction went amazing. I made it to the gas station. I almost picked up the gas nozzle. I did, but then I put it back. I picked up the diesel one. The best thing about a diesel is You can have your truck running and stay inside while the fuel is pumping. See what I mean? Think how it works with like gas vehicles is you're supposed to hang on to the handle at all times. I'm not completely sure. So even if it's like minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, you have to stay out there, freeze your butt off, fill up your car, and that kind of stinks. With this, you can actually lock it, jump into your truck, stay in the heat, and stay out of the cold. I like that. Diesel perks. And you can see my range keeps on going up. That's freaking awesome. Not very fast, but it is going up. So now that I finally made it to the fuel station, I'm gonna fill it up, because that's my rule. But when we get home, we're gonna unload this thing and I'm definitely gonna have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys. Unless I cry first. I've been done pumping for about five minutes now and it continues to go up. Keep going up, baby, hit a thousand, please. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, if you guys don't like the word beautiful, then clutch. Like for what I'm about to tell you guys, it was it was just crazy how it just worked out so perfectly. Like it couldn't have gone any better. Well, the only way it really could have gone better is if I got the machine for free. But but that wouldn't really happen in in this world. I don't think there's anybody that's that giving. Are 
you guys, this is my last shot, and then I gotta put you away. Okay, I lied. I, I came up with something. Hopefully it starts now. Needs the key. Room. 